Okay, all right. Hi everyone, welcome back. So as you can see the attire, we have finally made it to a bandmate concert. And I have a friend today. Uh, so let's see, well, Kevin is on a trip and Stefan is on a trip, but they are right now at the venue. <laughs> and they're line. <laughs> In the long line of the merch, I'm glad we decided to go back to the hotel. So we are filming about our experience. Uh, a lot of people, from what I could tell, already gone several times. Yes. You know, so but this is our first one. So let's see. The concert happened today is November first, yes. and this is the last concert too. So we uh, let's see. We left yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Eight hours long drive yes. very long drive <laughs> well, one of the good things about it is we had some food we had some what is it pokeballs yeah like kevin's like what's pokeball like pikachu <laughs> yeah so and it has some boba and then drove here so by the time we got here it was like 10 p.m out so tired long long day. so tired it was it was exhausting honestly because well i still had to work that day Fast pace done. So this morning, when we when we left, we left the hotel around eleven, a little before eleven, because yeah. we went to a restaurant, uh, ramen san, and we had lots of food. I couldn't finish mine. It was so delicious. Though. It was really oh. really good. The, the, that was actually like my first time, uh, second time going. So and I'm like, you know what? We already know it. We know the location. Let's go. Yeah, it was really tasty, and the service was good, and they played 90s hip-hop, it was the jam, it was so much fun. It's like going from one music to the next one yeah. and stuff. So, um, so whenever we, on the way to the restaurant, we passed the venue, and then the line was already, you know, kind of like formed uh, after so much. So after we finished, we went back to the line, which seemed to be still in kind of like in the same spot uh so we got our numbers i don't know if you yeah so <laughs> we had a general admission and a vip ones uh so it was black marker and a blue one so 51 in line not too bad no. it, was, it was okay considering we got there pretty much at noon so uh a lot of people what well, somebody said that they were there from really early like, in the morning yeah like was it four o'clock something like that if yeah something if we remember correctly wild. it was something like that so it was a lot uh so so by noon the line wasn't very big you know and then it started getting more and more and more and i think by four what time did they started to call or like check in was it four o'clock i think i think so or was it five no not I don't even remember. It was early. Warm. It was earlier because they were supposed to start letting people in at six, and I think they started. I think it was around five. Five. five yeah. One, it was yeah. One um. So they moved the VIP to the front of the area, and the uh, general admission was, you know, back to where we originally were standing. But the line was, you know, growing fairly fast. There was uh, some who, you know, had costumes on, so it was really fun. It's, <laughs> It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of like, yes, just goals right there. So, um, let's see what else. After we got in, you had a general admission. Mm -hmm. So, and so you ended up having like the sitting area. Yeah, they actually let me go in early because I'm disabled. I use a cane and um, I went in and asked security. I was like, hey, you know, I'm disabled. Is there accessible seating? Mm -hmm. And the security guard was so nice. He was just like, yes, I'll take care of you. Don't worry. You can have a seat in here. You don't have to wait outside in the line. Um, it was exhausting. Yeah, that was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was a long line. We were in the line for a very long time. So yeah. it was a relief to be able to go in early. And that's awesome. Yeah. It was, I was, I was like, you know what? I would like to do it. But then I'm like, oh my God. but you know, got our things checked in, got, um, the lanyards first and then we got a little bag that had a uh, little postcard with their signatures and a beanie with it so 
you know what? I don't even have a hat for winter. Great. <laughs> so, uh, so that was really, really cute. I like that. And then, and after that, it felt like everything went fairly fast as we were going inside. They were forming separate lanes and stuff. So, uh, you had your metal check or whatever, and then the tickets and stuff, and then you ran to the stage. Um, and then you waited forever. Yeah. Is what it felt that. I think at that point is because. I say some of the people, you know, like my back was hurting, my leg, my feet was hurting, so it felt like it was forever. But uh, the spots that we got, like you were sitting closer, what was it, like a bar or? Yeah, there's like a bar at the very back of the mm -hmm. venue and there's seating back there for people who are disabled. So that's, mm -hmm. that's where I was, that's okay. where I sat. And I still honestly, the venue's not huge, so I could still see very well from where we were sitting. That's awesome, yeah. Um, let's see, I was... Pretty much right in the middle, kind of a thing. Uh, there was like a row of people, but I had like a window where I was able to see and like film things as well. So for most part, I was able to see, you know, Miku, Saiki, and Akane, like, you know, like over there and stuff. So, but I filmed pretty much a little bit of everything until closer to the end. My phone told me it was hot, and it said no more. <laughs> And I'm like, what? what's that? <laughs> and I tried it again, and it's like, no. I'm like, okay. And I like felt it. I'm like, you wanna be that hot? But it still didn't work anymore after a while. But it was really great. Like also standing in line, there's you know, like having conversations with people and hearing their stories. Uh, you know, some people's already gone to like several or like couple, three and stuff like that. So it was really just kind of hearing their experience. They already know what to expect. It's kind of like nice to get you like prepared for things as well. So, but the concert was awesome. Fantastic. It was Fantastic. really, 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 really great. And then of course we had our banana time. Agave! 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 <laughs> that was very special. <laughs> I love it. How do you preserve that, you know? I don't know. Because, like, I would like to preserve it, but you, it, it, it just... It just dies. You know, I don't know. I was like, what do you do when you catch the banana? Whoever caught the bananas throughout these concerts, what do you do with it? Like, what does it do? Like, for example, I've gone to a concert before and I've gotten a rose mm. from the artist. Oh. So, the, you know, dried up and it's, it's fine. Just sitting like, like a weirdo, but oh, okay. it's sitting there, you know? <laughs> but uh, a banana, I don't know. What do you, like, dry? I don't know, like, I, if you could freeze it? I don't know, huh. keep it from, from rotting. I, I don't know. know, so let us know what you guys, you know, if some of you got the banana, what do you do? What are you planning on doing? Are you going to put, like, in resin to keep it, like, all? Mm -hmm. And so, because it is signed. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta preserve it somehow. <laughs> and then we had, um, like, you know, of course, the pigs were thrown, uh, drumsticks. I absolutely love that. Then we had, um, I'm pretty sure it was, like, alcohol thrown as well so you know it was it was interesting it's really and i think like you know every location you go uh is like a different experience as well so uh it was great some people's energy was like through the roof i did felt like i might get punched <laughs> but you know again <laughs> at the concerts you just like you just never know what to expect and at the same time it was really really fun and I just try to stay away a little bit at certain <laughs> times, but you know, it was still awesome. I can't wait to do this again. Yeah, this was, this was a good time. Besides the eight hour drive. Yeah, maybe, maybe not that so much. Not, not so much <laughs> and stuff, but yeah, everything is great. And then tomorrow we are going to be in the morning getting us some mochi donuts. If you guys haven't had mochi donuts, if you like mochi and you like donuts, you will love mochi donuts. And, uh, what are they called? Mochi nut. And then we're gonna have Korean 
hot dogs. Oh, no. Yeah. So this is our trip to Bend Made, and I have literally did not stop filming and pressing as it's filming. I'm pressing the button to take a picture. So I'd say out of like hundred, I'd say it should be ten good. Hopefully of each member. At least so and then of course I'll be posting and all of that. And the guys are still going back. <laughs> <laughs> still in that line. Still waiting for the merch. Still waiting up there. This is crazy. You know, honestly, I guess as long as they get something, that's all at this point that matters because I'm sure everyone is exhausted. But that was an experience and I think it was very pleasant. There was no kind of, you know, nothing to where it felt like it was something, I don't know, interruption of any kind. Um, smooth. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and yeah. the crowd was very energetic. You know, bandmate, of course, was, they're fantastic, and they get the crowd all pumped. Yeah. So everyone was, everyone seemed to be having a really good time. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. It was great. Now all I want to do is sleep. Yeah, that's not. I don't know. I, this this is also my first concert, like when it comes to like Japanese music, that, uh, like the artist performed without any kind of like an opener. And stuff too yeah. so this is was like pretty much a two hour of just them maybe that's what my phone breaks out doesn't know <laughs> like it's not used to things like that uh, <laughs> but hopefully you got all the merch and everything that you wanted uh, on the store and I know a lot of people like on reddit I've seen it's like hey if you're at the concert can you grab this I'll mail you like you know like I'll pay call your money with a little extra for shipping and everything please because it never and I didn't realize I'm like oh maybe they just didn't have that no these lines are like freaking insane like a whole mile long inside the tiny venue <laughs> it's it, it's crazy honestly but it makes sense I hope you know they got rid of a whole bunch of merch and now that they're gonna be pretty much going back home and we only have like a month left, two months left before the year old. They'll be back again. Yes. Well, they promised. They, there's, promised. they did. They said 2023. Yes. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> Might be November again. Although the weather was absolutely wonderful this time actually in Chicago. Uh, no rain. I mean, of course the wind was there and all, but, but everything was really, really good. Sometimes it felt like hot. I did have a long sleeve at first and then I took it off. Like no, not happening. So. And you couldn't take care of yourself. Yeah, I just had to, just had to cry and bear it. And <laughs> Stay with it. But this was a great experience, guys. And um, we're looking forward for more. And um, we'll, we'll see you next time. And then enjoy. We'll put maybe some footage out. I don't know. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.